But as you think about this year and, and things not being in our normal state, what's your biggest need right now? There's a lot of physical projects coming up, well, that have already come up that we can't do. And uh, I know St. Andrews in the past had helped us with some of our spiritual projects, like going out and doing a VBS or going into the schools and doing morals and value lessons. Mm -hmm. um, we still like to do that, but obviously they're not meeting any schools right now. Mm -hmm. and, and so we've had a lot of physical needs come out, like repairing houses, uh, repairing our church, mm -hmm. things like that, that are, that are, are more physical than Give spiritual. It. I think probably um, right now at this stage, it's a, it's a good opportunity to be able to give the church a facelift, um, you know, because we have really harsh weather in Rio Frio, it could use some painting. We would like to remodel because we are getting a little, we are growing, which is really good. But then we're going through those growing pains of not having the room uh, to put, the children, it's mostly the children. And so it's yeah. just little projects. They're not projects that are going to take lots of money, but they're projects that require funding. So in and, that and sense. And require hands and feet. And that's what I was getting to, into. Yeah. And in that sense, um, more so than the financial part, obviously, um, is hands and feet where we've had teams that have been sent from our different supporting churches. And St. Andrews has always been good about trying to send us teams. And I think that's something that St. Andrews could do in the coming year, if it's at all possible, is to send us a team to be able to help us come to date with our um, facility. Yeah. We live in a country where we have the freedom of religion um, persecuted or rejected or um, or just uh, try to be suppressed. We don't have those issues here in Costa Rica. So it makes it easier for us to be able to spread the gospel to the people in our community. We are absolutely. very blessed, absolutely blessed. Uh, and we're able to do that because of the prayers from all of our brothers and sisters from back in the States and the churches that support Ted and I, that we're able to spread the gospel and go out and fulfill the great commission the way that we've all been called to do. So we're extremely grateful for you taking the time to just ask us these simple questions, but questions that mean so much. And we want you all to know where we are at. And um, so, you know, that's, that's what we want, prayer. Just keep praying for us. That would be a great message for people to hear.